Senator Portman, as, as truly a, a, a leader for years in this area and continuing to be so, um, would like to invite your comments on the uh, Energy Savings and Industrial Competitiveness Act. It's hard for me to say that because we just refer to it as Shaheen Portman or Portman Shaheen and recognize uh, you and your leadership with it. Great. Well, thank you. And thanks, uh, Madam Chair, not just for your willingness to hold this hearing today. And uh, this is going to be a good opportunity for us to hear about a lot of great ideas in energy efficiency. But importantly to me, your personal commitment to this, uh, representing a state that produces a lot of energy. Uh, your motto has been, uh, let's produce more, but let's also use it. We produce more efficiently. And I think that's exactly where most Americans are and um, what we can and should do. There's so much potential for us to become more competitive, to help the environment and create more jobs by doing so. And second, thank you for your uh, support of this legislation from the start. You were one of our original co-sponsors. You've been um, working with us. Uh, it's been on the floor twice, as you know, and for really unrelated reasons was not able to get through. Um, we've continued to improve the legislation. I think about uh, listening to my colleague, Senator Shaheen, talk about it. Uh, we added, I think, 10 additional bipartisan provisions last go round uh, in the last Congress, which not only got us more co-sponsors, but a lot more support from the outside. And, and we continue to refine the measure. We've now reintroduced it, I think, with a, um, a good, broad um, bipartisan support uh, of members, but again, importantly, taking in great ideas. One, by the way, uh, we would love to include is ESPCs. And the problem with ESPCs in the past has been we haven't been able to get a score that really uh, is consistent with the reality of the savings that can occur from uh, these contracts. And I, on, on the Budget Committee, uh, as the ranking member was saying, it's good to have members on other committees, and we were able to get in language in the budget to um, have CBO properly, I would view, score these. So this helps us in terms of our cost, because as you know, um, Portman Shaheen, Shaheen Portman, uh, we'll call it S720, um, you know, does not have a cost. You know, we, we uh, eliminate some authorizations at the Department of Energy. Um, we have no mandates in it, and we've been very careful to keep this group together by not having this be a fiscal problem. And uh, with this new ESPC language, we'll be able uh, to include, I believe, some uh, additional elements there. So, uh, by the way, it only applies to the Senate, not the House, which could make matters interesting going forward in terms of the ESPC uh, scoring mechanism. But I, I'm glad we had that, that little victory, and I appreciate Senator Coons coming today and talking about that. Also, Senator Collins, she talked about the coordination of retrofitting schools. Great idea. I'm a co-sponsor of Senator Coons' bill, but also a co-sponsor of her bill. Her bill is part of the Portman Shaheen bill, and um, we think that's one of the great opportunities here uh, with regard to the, the, the building side and, and specifically our, our school building. So uh, we're really interested in moving this bill forward, getting it to the floor this time, third time's a charm, um, having the ability to have a substantive discussion and to allow people to offer amendments, but also to allow us to actually get something done that we think uh, can be uh, not just bipartisan, but bicameral. Corey Gardner's here who just left the House, and he was one of our leaders in the House. Hopefully he left some folks behind. Uh, who understand the importance of this, but we do have support on both sides of the aisle uh, in, in the House. Um, and I also want to thank Senator Shaheen. We've worked on this for uh, three and a half, maybe four years now. As she said, I had dark hair when this started. Senator Gardner says that my hair is lighter because it reflects the sun better, which is more energy efficient. Um, but uh, that wasn't purposeful. But, um, but she has been a stalwart. You know, frankly, both of us have had to work with both of our caucuses on uh, moving this forward because, uh, it, you know, it is a consensus bill. And again, it's a bill that can actually, in my view, get through to the president for his signature. And we really appreciate your willingness, Madam Chair, to push that through. And I know that uh, you have, again, a personal commitment to this, but also you're willing to recognize, uh, you know, three and a half years of hard work and uh, over 270 organizations and trade associations. And, and just the fact that this would make a big difference. Uh, it's the equivalent of energy savings uh, that would take 80 million homes off the grid by 2030, um, cumulative savings about $100 billion, uh, 190,000 jobs created. Uh, it, it, it does a lot of good things, reducing emissions, uh, cutting carbon emissions equivalent to taking 22 million homes, uh, 22 million cars off the road by 2030. Um, and it's cost effective and it, it, it adds jobs in places like my home state of Ohio, the manufacturers are really excited about it. So uh, 
We hope this uh, is proof that bipartisanship is not dead on Capitol Hill because it passed the committee last Congress with a strong bipartisan vote of 19 to 3. And I'm hopeful we can do that again this year, get this moving quickly, get that strong show of support in the committee, which will help us to get it through the floor and uh, make this good idea a reality. Thank you, Madam Chair.